about tithing. The income can really ebb and flow. You know, bonuses could be great one year, maybe they're zero the next year. And I think there are some specific instructions in the Bible around percentages and things like that, and then you gotta figure out is it before tax, after tax, <laughs> you, you keep it the same every year, and not there your perspective and maybe how you guide your clients as well. The view of it is it's at the end of the day it's between you and God and you, we've got to remember it all belongs to him. We're just stewards. We've been very we've been blessed to to earn a living answer for you. I know what the answer is for myself. So about, you know, is it is it my tithing on the net, my tithing on the gross, you know, what how do taxes fit in? I know for me I just look at it as as all income. Render to Caesar what is Caesar's, but you know, all the income that I receive gross is, is what I base of mind giving. You know, tithing's a great place to start, um, 10%, but not necessarily where you want to end. Andy's been an absolute inspiration to me in terms of my giving, has really uh, encouraged me and inspired me to, to step up my game, so I'll just say that. A couple practical suggestions for you to consider. One is that, you know, when you have a, a bountiful period, that to put it some extra aside. And the donor advised fund is great for that because if you don't have destination immediately at hand for the charitable giving, you can get the deduction in that year and give it the next year, you know, or, or in the future. The other one is a lot of people get trapped into the rat race where you get more, you spend more, you get more, you spend more. Your, your standard of living keeps going up. It doesn't have to. You can draw a line in the sand and say, after this, anything that God blesses me with is going to be given away. And it's okay to, you know, give yourself a little vacation or this or something special to celebrate, you know, that financial success. But uh, you're in control. You can be in control.